Switch it into low range mode. Dips are locked. Dips are open.
off the front lip for me. So this truck has taken quite a beating and the reason why it's here on the operating table with its muddy wheels is as we were driving on a trail in Limpopo, um, I was doing the last climb, the last challenge, we had made all of the climbs and the last one was a bit steep and it actually made it all the way to the top and right at the top it lost power to the front. And that is because the drive shaft um, disintegrated. And uh, as you can see, it rolled all the way down back to the bottom. 
and that is in the clip in this video that you just watched. So I'm quickly gonna attempt to fix it. Um, I observed what happened at a glance. I just kept all the pieces safe. But uh, up to now, I haven't had a chance to put it together. It is about a week or two later and I'm gonna attempt to fix this. So hopefully it'll be quick and I'm gonna time lapse the video. So this is a story for another day. It's gonna be its own video, but I stored all the pieces that came apart in my trusty old lock nut box. What better place to store it? So I actually just observed the pieces that came apart and it was basically this piece that came off from basically where I'm putting it. And uh, upon further investigation, it was being held there by a screw. And it seems that that screw may have come loose. That's the screw over there. So we're gonna use some Loctite and um, I'm thinking I might just go and find the strong Loctite because I've got the, the blue Loctite over here. Um, I might find the red one and actually put this together. So that's the fix that we're gonna do. I'm thinking I might have to do this on all the drive shafts just so that we don't lose the pieces halfway through. Um, and hopefully that will be the fix that will get this thing working. See, there is some kind of washer in there or metal piece. And hopefully that is not damaged. Hopefully the screw still sits in there and fits. Um, luckily I was wise enough to actually make sure this didn't get lost. And this too and this piece that actually extends the drive shaft. So we're gonna fix it and we're gonna restore the power to the front wheels. Okay, so we are back and uh, I've put the battery in. We used red Loctite instead of blue. You could tell that prior to it coming off, there was Loctite on that screw, but um, I think the blue Loctite wasn't strong enough. So what I have done is I have replaced those sections, certain sections that won't need to come off unless we're replacing the whole diff with the red Loctite and I put blue Loctite in the sections that actually free the diffs. So it's locked in place. Uh, let's just turn this on. I've got the remote over here. Diffs are off, it's in low range. The remote is on. And the car is on. Now I'm just gonna turn this over. I'm sure it's gyroscope is going crazy. If it was connected to the phone, it would be ringing. But let's just test that all four wheels are spinning. Currently all the diffs are open. So if I hold the wheel, it should continue. You can see the wheels have turned. It's actually trying to compensate for Lock it on level one. Let's check this is the front dips that lock here. Yeah. So level one is locking the front dips. I believe the back dip is still open. Front dip, can't hold it. Just keeps going. Well, let's lock the second dip. There we go and it's back in action, just like that. And uh, we can do a quick test of high range. And it's good.
that right there is where the trucks fitted with the Fusion Pro just beat the Traxxas because you can go so slow in tight spots like this where the car can easily overturn. But with the Traxxas you just need to send it through on a stock setup. Uh, so at some stage or another we're most probably going to fit a Fusion into there. But as you can see this body has taken a beating.